All right, let's play the flow first. Ding a ding a ding a ding. Ding a ding a ding a ding. It's a good change. I like it. The piece falls out and ding a ding a ding a ding. That's cool. I like it. <laughs> it's good stuff, I have to say. In terms of um, just some of the moves and some of the posing and things, what I would say, like even when he wakes up like this, maybe not have. I'm not sure about this. It just seems again. It, it's still a bit of that that feeling of reaching for something and getting into. Like, I, I like this. Like once you're here, going into whoa into that drop, and that we still see the face here. I like all of this. I just wonder if there's a, a different way of getting into this. It's, it seems so deliberate. Like there's such a. Even if you would go like, oh, but then then it will go back and relax a bit more, and then into this might just be, you know, turning, or maybe it's like a, a thing of pushing himself off into that turn and then. That arm comes up just as a turn, and then you get into this. Just something so it's not so deliberately straight. That's the only thing I would say. Subjectively, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. Is that a switch? <laughs> then that's cool. I like that. I like that too. I think that's totally fine. We have that. Maybe this this is again potentially picky, but if he will get up. I would almost feel like it would hit this area of the head somewhere from here to here and not back there. I don't know. That may, might just be me, but to me, I would I would bring up that hand higher. It would just be here. You'd still have the same idea. And then that is fine. Just watch out as you get into it that we don't lose the pupils so much. You might, might have to turn the head a bit more. So the concern here that I have is that it's straight on. It's... Got an okay silhouette through all of this here. Just watch out as you get into this how things pop and lock. And getting in front of the face. It's kind of clearing that up a bit. And then you got watch out. You got to take that PlayStation over there. So it's not. Just give him some room. And even here I will probably turn more. So basically for this. I wonder if you could do something where. It's a bigger change, so I totally understand if you don't want to do it. But imagine, boom, when this happens, that the clock goes a bit this way, and now lands here. And then it's, and that makes it go over here. And I would also take this mouse and just bring it over here. So then that thing rests here, so that when you do this, it's actually here, and you have a bit of a, uh, a cleaner silhouette. That's going to what's going to be the chin in my awesome drawing so you have something that's a bit more here so of a nicer silhouette so you can also kind of show the curvature of the body versus straight on it's a fun face though and then when you do this he would just be maybe a bit more here and just a bit more profile I can hold it you know somewhere so that there's not this happening here where we cover so much like imagine something like this, but just a bit lower. And then the head would just be a bit more here. Giving us a bit of a nicer silhouette. And then you have somewhere to go where you might start almost more profile. Almost profile. And through all that shake, he has a slight turn in Y to end up here. I think that would also be good. So you're not stuck in this same rotation of where the body's pointing at throughout the whole thing. Giving a little bit of movement and contrast. Wow. And then same thing for this again. It just you, you don't you know you don't get anything from the line of action of what the body is doing. It's basically just this, and then ends up being very twins. So even that in three quarter will give you even if it's still twin, just visually will give you a bit of a different silhouette of his arms, and it could still be here. You know he can kind of almost lean back as he does this, like ah, ba -ba, into that. You can see really that change in line of action. And then he can kind of, it would still be somewhat three-quarter. And then get into, 
into this. I do like all of this. I don't understand it's a pain to change all of this. But maybe he will get from this. When he lets go, then he gets maybe into that pose. I can see that. It's still... I mean, it's a bit offset. I'm concerned about this straight on and then the twinning aspect of it. That's all okay. I think that's cool. That's cool. I would just milk this moment a bit more where it's kind of like... Bink, and then you just have a bit of a little shake. And you could have kind of eyes widening, maybe like one dart. And then... Just so you have... I like that it's a one, two. I think that second drop you can exaggerate to make it a lot faster. But it feels like the end is almost a bit rushed. Oh, okay. Bing, kong, kong. It's almost like a very even one, two, three. So I just kind of play with that timing a bit more. And I think you can do this and you can almost keep the finger on on there and not leave it. You know, it's it's shaking and that's why he leaves the finger on to keep it silent down there. And it's a continuous push. Maybe then you have, boom, and it goes down once. That's when he brings up the hands. And then it drops for just a faster, faster moment there. That's kind of that. It's kind of some broader comments. And I know some of these are fairly destructive in terms of, you know, overall body orientation change and stuff like that. So totally up to you. Uh, oh, yeah. So the reason why I wanted to have that mouse here is because that is a thing. And then you have, it's fairly close. And I just, I would just keep it here. And that way this is, it's, it's nicely separated. And I know I mentioned that he would have, you know, slammed the thing here, but there could still be somewhat room in between here. And then you got that here. But then the roll can still come back to where it is. Like when he lets go of the clock, boom, could almost kind of slide over. Well, it kind of depends how far you want to go, like which, what kind of changes you want to, you want to have. Not sure if you want, just quick, if you need this in the back. Just because he ends up being there, and I will keep things, A, as clean as you can into the silhouette. I don't think it does you any favor to have those little things sticking out. And then as you you know, as you continue either changing the textures or some basic lighting, but not make this so dark and start to kind of bleed into this, and especially his hair into this darkness. So having a nice color separation between foreground and background. And that's kind of that. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.